All right guys, so part two of the lift install. Like I said, I have to map out the Thermopex tubes in the floor. So what I've done is I've turned the floor zone on from the boiler. So the boiler is sending hot water into the closet. There's a loop from one of the pumps off of the boiler and I'll show you that right now. This is how this whole building is heated. This is 5,800 square feet, this entire building. And the heat all gets transferred from this one heat exchanger right here. So there is hot water in here. And then the bottom one is the return. And then the heat exchanges from here to the water that's in the system. And then the system pumps it through the two zones. So downstairs zone is right here. On the other side of the wall, um, this supply for this pump feeds the upstairs, downstairs. And right now the downstairs pump is on. So we are pumping hot water through. I have a thermal um, rifle scope here and you can see the uh, the manifold heat so what's awesome is is you can actually map out where this stuff now goes in the floor and I'm going to show you this from uh, over here I have some of the lights off to see it a little bit better but check this out and we act and this is how we mapped out the floor so maybe I should turn the other light off but you could see all of the thermal pecs in the way the loops all run through the whole floor here and you can see some of the some of the bends right there Let's see if I can get it a little bit a little bit zoomed in more Isn't that nuts those are that's all just the heat signature of the of the loops that run through the floor so you could see out here in the workshop or I shouldn't say this is a workshop but in the parking area they are wound pretty tight uh, there are loops everywhere. Now the concrete isn't up to temp yet. I've, like I said, I've kept this floor zone off all winter in anticipation for getting the lift. So you can follow this out to the, to the, to the workshop area out on this side. And you can see over on this side, let's see if I get a better shot here. I'm trying to get it so you guys can get a good reference point. There's a Miata over there. There's the front of the, there's the nose of the RX-8. You can see the tightly wound pecs in the floor. So where we're putting the first lift over here, and this is actually where, and I, I realize now this is where the guy who built this place was intending on putting his first lift because the electrical that I mapped out in part one runs over to this bay. So you could see uh, the pecs is wound tight in the floor. And then he's got this gap here where he ran it much more loose. And this is definitely where the guy was intending to put the lift. I have the tape measure on the ground here and you can kind of see it right there. It runs across that straight line that's running across the loops. That's about the post widths of where we're going to be. And I made pencil markings where the heat loops are based on their signature. So there's the, there's the tip of the loop right there. And then there's the tape measure head. And then there's another loop right there. So I marked over there just, uh, just so we know that that's not anywhere we can drill. But this whole dark spot here is, is loop free. So that's ultimately where we're going to be drilling and putting the post for this lift. So if you come across here, you can see they're loose, they're loose, and then he's just got one loop over here on the very, very, very far edge. And as you get closer, it gets a little bit more blurry, so it's a little bit tough to see that. Like you can't define the, the heat area because it's so, it's so big, but you could see the end of the tape measure. So I'm right outside of the loop right there, and I made a mark probably a couple inches past that, but the, the tube itself runs right along the perimeter. So it's like, it's on the very edge of there. So there is some generous room. If I back up here, you'll be able to see that become more defined. You can start to see it there. It starts to, it starts to present itself a little bit more and you can see these. Pretty neat though. Uh, and, th and this is pretty sick that this allowed me to kind of figure out where the, where the runs are. So now it gives us a good baseline. The only thing though, is if you look over here where the white FD is, look at how tight the lines are. He ran them real tight. I want to put a second lift in over here. So there's gonna be a little bit more finesse and strategic mapping required before drilling into the floor. But pretty sick overall. I think this thing is awesome. Look at that. Damn, let's see if the upstairs, if we get the upstairs heat zone. Here, we'll come in here. Yeah, look, you can see the upstairs uh, zone is on. You can see the manifold over here. Look at that. There's the upstairs zoning manifold. Sick. If 
fucking technology, I'm telling you, it's so cool. Um, so this is pretty awesome and I'm really happy that this worked out. But this is this is this is the second part here of uh, preparing for the lift. And uh, now we kind of know what we're dealing with. Ooh, where are we gonna get some light here? Where I got a drill. And um, actually I'll show you the I'll show you my markings before I end this little segment here. So come back out here. And I just put X's on the cusps of the loops. So I know basically this is like kind of where those are, are touching. And then this is where the loops begin over here where the X's are. I mapped out the uh, wide areas of the heat signature and narrowed it down to the center. And um, this is about the end of the lift in the widest configuration going all the way across. And if we put the back side of the post, the edge of the post right here, we should be clearance to the heat, the heat loop, which I estimated about right here. Uh, so that, that's good. That will allow us to do what we gotta do and, uh, and drill that bad boy. So uh, that's it for that. That's all, mar that's all marked out now. Next step is gonna be doing something with the garage door and removing this opener here so I'll have plenty of lifting clearance.